Veterans in Hanford are spending the holidays without a home, a home being the Veterans Memorial Building. Action News reporter Christina Fan explains why city engineers condemned the structure last week. Warren, the cornerstone for this building was laid in 1925. The American Legion has been inside ever since then. They say being away is like losing their home. In the city of Hanford, not all buildings are seen as empty structures. Very disheartening at this time of year. History and emotions here are deeply connected to one another. Really couldn't wait a month <laughs> was my reaction. For nearly a century, the American Legion Post 3 and the Veterans Memorial Building have coexisted. Their stories deeply intertwined. Now one must live on without the other. As we come up on that 100 year centennial, uh, it's kind of a shame that we may not be able to use our building as the centerpiece of the celebrations. Last week, structural engineers with the city found a deficiency in the roof. The entire building was condemned. Dozens of events rescheduled. James and Janai feel like they've lost a home. It's here for all veterans, and it has been so um, as a cornerstone of the city of Hanford. Over the years, other organizations have also moved inside, and now everyone is scrambling to find a new location. Repairs could take months to more than a year. The American Legion is confident doors will reopen again, but surely not in time for this Christmas. And it was just very emotional for me to know that um, we don't have a home for a while, but it's okay. I mean, the family's still together and that's what's important. The American Legion is in need of funds and venues to help hold their holiday events. If you can help them, the best way to reach them is through their Facebook page. In Hanford, Christina Fan, ABC 30, Action News.